a major announcement is expected from the U.S. Energy Secretary. Some call it the holy grail of clean energy, saying it could change how we power our world. ABC's Lionel Moise explains. This morning, all eyes on this California lab that may have cracked the code for what's been dubbed the ultimate power source. It's not a, it's not like a fluke or like a magical discovery. It was the result of this continuous steady progress. Scientists have been learning from above, recreating a mini version of the nuclear fusion that powers the sun, aiming close to 200 super lasers at a tiny piece of metal the size of a pencil eraser, trying to fuse hydrogen atoms into a helium atom. The whole point is you want the individual atoms to be going so fast that when they run into each other, they overcome the repulsion and they slam each other and fuse and then blow back apart and release way more energy than they had to begin with. Since helium weighs less than hydrogen, the difference becomes energy. It's that energy that could one day be used to power our everyday lives. Scientists are expected to announce today that they finally reached a net energy gain, creating more power than it took to create the reaction. You know, when fusion started out, it was, you know, one ten thousandth of the, of the amount of energy in versus energy out. And every decade, you got closer and closer. This would be key in creating a sustainable clean energy source Nuclear power plants today use fission, which is the process of breaking atoms apart, but there are concerns about emissions and nuclear waste. Fusion is the process of combining atoms. While the energy created is the same, the impact on the environment is not. There's no carbon emitted from the actual fusion reaction. That's not a, it's not a greenhouse emitting effect. And you don't have the same long-term waste issue. And fusion power plants do not have the same ability uh, to melt down. They do not, they're not capable of that same type of reaction. It could be years before we see the effects of this breakthrough. They still have to figure out how to channel enough of that energy on a widespread level to create fusion power plants, but this is a significant first step. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.